Okay, the next thing to rev uh, review for logs is the different rules. So you probably your exponent rules. That if you multiply certain things, you add the exponent. Or if you divide, you subtract the exponent. This kind of double exponential, you multiply the exponents. All right, since so exponentials and logs are related, all right, there's also kind of similar-ish rules for logarithms as well. All right, and they look like this. I actually like to think about them from right to left. So if I add two separate logs, you can kind of smush them together and you multiply the insides. Or if you have multiplication, you can split it up into two separate logs. All right, with the opposite of addition and subtraction, which turns that to division. And then this one, if you have a number in front of your log, you can jump it in there, all right, into the exponent. All right, likewise, if you're going the opposite direction, you can take this number here and bring it out in front of the log. All right, so for the next two uh, examples we're going to do, it might be helpful to have these written down. As number, if you add or subtract logs, you can kind of smush them together into one. If you have a number in front of the log, you can bring it in or bring it out. Let's look at some examples. So we want to expand these expressions using our log rules. All right, well, the first thing in here is we have this division bar. So using that second log rule, I can rewrite this as minus... All right, notice the base stays the same, all right, the base two, all right, just gets copied. All right, but the top of my fraction goes in the first log, the bottom of my fraction goes in the second log. All right, and a lot of times with these types of problems, you can keep going. I can split up that first log, because it's multiplication. I split it up with a plus sign. And now there's just a single thing in each log, so I don't go any further. All right, the next one's really similar. All right, there's that division bar. I can subtract that as two separate logs. All right, then I have multiplication, so I can rewrite this first one using addition. All right, now there's, for each one of these little parts, there's a different thing you can do to simplify. So the most obvious one might be the middle one. I have this exponent of three. And we saw that last log rule on the other side. This is nat or three natural log of y. So that three can come out in front of the natural log like that. Right, the square root of x might not be as obvious, but we talked about this before earlier in the semester. If we have square roots, we can always rewrite those as the one-half power. Right, so the natural log of the square root of x, right, that one-half power come out in front like that. And the last one, the natural log of e, all right, e, if you plug in the base of a log into itself, you always get 1. So this is going to be minus 1. All right, if you just go back to the last video when you're evaluating logs, you'll see that e raised to the first is e. So that means the exponent answer is 1. All right, so this is the fully simplified version of that natural log. So we're just using the log properties right, to kind of write these things out in multiple pieces. All right, and this one, we're going to go the other direction. All right, so we want to form it all into one thing. All right, so what I'm going to do first is these numbers at the front can come in as exponents. And then if I see subtraction between logs, I know that gives me division. And if I see addition between logs, I know that gives me multiplication. So it's going to look like this. And once you get used to the stuff, you can start to see some shortcuts, all right, things at the start that are positive, like uh, here and here. All right, those are positive. Those pieces end up on the top of your fraction. The things that started out negative, those are going to end up in the bottom of the fraction. All right, so if you start to see little shortcuts like that, you can kind of go straight to the answer sometimes. Like that. All right, there's some subtraction between logs. That's going to be a bunch of divisions. All right, since both of these are negative, they're going to end up in the bottom of the fraction. All right, so this is just a quick review of logs, or the rules of logs. All right, so we can kind of squish logs together or expand them out. And sometimes when we're trying to take derivatives or things, it's helpful to expand them out into a bunch of smaller expressions and do those individually instead of one big thing. All right, so knowing our log rules can help us a lot.